Decision Theatre for me is really a combination of a physical space, including the drum, which has this innovative, cutting-edge technology for visualization, as well as a decision-making environment and a place for participatory engagement. It's a place with screens, but the magic really happens when you instantiate some sort of decision-making project that brings together complex data sets, models, and really places the human at the center. To engage by reading technical reports is often non-productive. The Decision Theater Network is an enabler for translation among complex voices and across complex problem sets. A truly unique environment when it comes to looking at very complex social, political, and economic issues that affect the community. We're always on the cutting edge of bringing the best technology, the best tools, the best modelers, the best researchers on dealing with big data, putting it into models and simulations to help look at potential outcomes. We've collaborated on the development of WaterSim, a dynamic water supply and demand model that simulates the conditions of water supply, drought, climate change, and a variety of different policy choices that influence the water sustainability in central Arizona. And it's an ongoing project that brings together academics, stakeholders, community uh, to understand the water resource management challenges. We can help people to understand the trade-offs that we face thinking about the supply that we have available and how we use that supply to support municipal, industrial, agricultural, and environmental demands. It's a huge step forward in looking at data in new and different ways. So during a public health emergency, there is an inherent level of risk, and Decision Theater allows us to work with local public health officials. Policymakers respond, they make decisions, and then the simulation model is embedded in this tool, and they see the outcome of that decision. So moving forward, we can compare what might have happened if they made a different decision. We can compare what it would happen if they made no decisions and just let the pandemic run its course. So we had high-level county and state public health folks in this room working through this exercise and try to recreate the pressured, complex decision-making situations that public health officials would face during an emergency. And I told my, my boss here at Decision Theater at the time, that was so much fun. I had a blast doing that. He's like, well, you know, you can do this full time. Students tend to come in this facility from a specific discipline. And so we see graduate students broadening their research projects, asking better questions. And so they begin to think outside of their discipline, which I think becomes very valuable. Visualization is a way to really capture people's attention, their passion, their imagination, and I think it's the way of the future. Deriving solutions where solutions weren't possible, deriving decision prototypes where decisions are very difficult or very challenging. In the future, I see the decision theater increasingly focused on a variety of global problems and challenges to solve critical water sustainability challenges around the globe. The aha moment happens when you realize it's not about the screens. It's really about bringing it all together, really with the human in the center.